everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. Today I want to demonstrate how you set up the Revive ad server for your website. Now I guess before we get started let's just briefly discuss who uses an ad server. Any of you that have a high traffic website or just a website in general and you want to show ads to make money to monetize it, you can use the Revive ad server. Um, also those of you that want to buy ads on other websites, you can also use the Revive ads, ad server to track those advertisements and to serve them on other websites. So this is especially good for you ad agencies out there or marketers that are looking for a good ad serving solution that's cheap. And the reason I like OpenX is because it's open, or it's, it used to be called OpenX, it's now Revive ad server, but it's free. It's open source and free. And we've actually optimized our cloud platform here at, at Name Hero, so you can run this with no problem. You don't have to worry about high server loads. We worry about all that stuff because it's in the cloud and, and we distribute the resources. So rather than paying a service, a lot of people, such as a Zito ad server, you know, they're charging $6,000 a month um, in some instances. You don't have to pay that much. <clears throat> it's all open source and free, and I'm going to show you how to install it right now. So right now we are in our namehero.com platform. So we're going to click log into WHM, which is our web host manager. Okay, we're going to go to list accounts. And you can see this is namehero.org, which we set up in a previous tutorial. So we're going to click the cPanel link. And that's going to take us to where we need to go to get this installed. So when we get the cPanel, we're going to scroll all the way down here to the bottom to the apps installer. And we are going to go to Add Management. Whoops. And then we are going to scroll down here to Revive Ad Server. So we can click it here, and we can read a little bit more about this if we'd like. Um, and we can, you know, read basically what I just said that. Um, you know, it's an ad server that allows you to serve ads on your website to monetize it. You can put in third-party codes such as Google AdSense, um, such as Rev Content, such as Taboola, Outbrain, um, all those. You can insert those in here if you'd like, and you can also take this to Media Buy on other properties on other websites. Like I said, it's especially good for the marketers out there. Okay, um, you, again, you can go through the features and screenshots, and you can even demo it. But what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and install it. And it said the demo's offline. That's okay. All right, so to get started, we're going to choose our protocol. Um, if you have a secure certificate set up, then you want to choose this. Um, I'm just going to choose www.namehero.org. Um, this is a directory that we get to set up here, and we're just going to call it OpenX the default. Now, again, Revive Ad Server used to be called OpenX, so OpenX and Revive Ad Server are the same thing. It's just now called Revive Server. Database name is going to be called anything. We're going to leave it default, and we're going to leave this default. Um, username admin. We're going to generate a secure password. I always like to just uh, save it in a notepad document. I'm going to do so in my other window just in case. So we don't lose that. Um, you can put your name here and your admin email address. There is um, a couple um, advanced options. You can actually have it set to backup on, on um, the cloud here. Now remember this just with Name Heroes Managed Cloud, you can pretty much do unlimited things other than you're limited to your space a little bit. So if you're limited to space, then you might not want to back this up on that drive. You might want to buy um, additional backup space from us. But we can talk about that, um, you know, whenever you, whenever you need that. By default, your server already backs up every night, so you're not going to have to worry too, too much about doing backups on your local end here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and install it. It just takes a few minutes here while it downloads the package and then provisions install. Um, you can see we've got a nice little bar here. And very, very quickly, we're working up. We're up here and working. Okay, so now this shows us a couple of um, things that we need to be aware of. Um, it's been installed right here. And it's going to take us to the admin area. So um, we're going to use that um, password. The username was was admin in our password. And you can see we're all ready to go here now. We ha we've installed the Revive Ad Server. It's, it's that simple, it's just it's just one click. <clears throat> so now we just have to go in and configure it. Um, you have, this is the home screen of the ad server. It just shows the statistics. Now these statistics are updated, I believe every hour, every 45 minutes to every hour. So don't look for that in real time. And that's just so we can balance the server load, but um, it, they will be updated. 
<clears throat> as you start to show impressions. Um, and you can click statistics here. And, and once you start to populate this of data, um, your statistics and everything will show here. Um, to get started, you really want to go over here to the inventory tab and you can go through and start to set up your ad server. Like I said, the installation is complete. So now you just need to go in and add your advertisers. Um, so this here would be something as Google AdSense would be an ad server or would be an advertiser. Um, if you're, you know, again, if you sold ads on your website, you would insert their stuff in here. Um, once you have an advertiser, then you can set up a campaign for them. And let's just do a default one. Um, or just an example one here. So let's just call this Google AdSense. Um, and we're just going to put contact at, let's see here, let's just copy this. And that's all we need to create an advertiser. And then we can create a campaign right here. Um, now you can see when you're ready to create the campaign, there's a couple of different options here and you can read through these to see which one best fits. Um, you know, contract is just what it is. This campaign is limited per day and it's going to be delivered evenly um, to the end date. So this would be if, if someone comes and buys an ad from your site and you guys say, well, um, you know, we'll start the ad today and it's going to run for a month or it's going to run for a day. You do a contract. Um, contract exclusive means they're buying all the inventory they can. So then you would... Um, you would put that as contract exclusive and that's going to give it higher priority. And then you have remnant and this is, this is the standard. Um, and so, so things like Google AdSense would be remnant because you're going to give the ad server a third party tag and any impressions you've not sold to other advertisers is going to show the AdSense tag. So we're going to click remnant for that. We're going to tell it to start immediately. We're not going to expire this. Um, now we get to choose our pricing model. Now this is basically how you're going to sell this ad inventory. Um, default is cost per 1,000 impressions (CPM). Um, you can do a cost per click, you can do a cost per action, or you can even do a tendency. Um, we're going to just going to go by a standard CPM. Now. Um, what I like to do is when I, I like to take my average AdSense C, e, C, CPM over the last 30 days and put that in here. That way I can kind of get an idea, you know, serve the ads that are making me the most money for my sites. So let's just um, call it a dollar for now. Um, impressions, we're going to leave this at unlimited since it's a remnant order. You can do some capping and, and some other stuff here, but um, we're going to leave it default. Okay, now we've set up um, an advertiser and we've set up a campaign. So now we just need to add the banners um, here. Now for this here, we can you can see we can upload um, or generate a text banner. There's all, all these different things that we can we can do here um, to to um, actually insert the um, the banners. Now we're going to go through here and we're going to add um, the code for AdSense in here. So this would be our um, main AdSense. And we just want to call whatever this banner would be. So this is going to be the main AdSense banner. And you're going to put your um, code in here from AdSense into this box. And you can see there's already some defaults here, so it's going to recognize. So you can click Rich Media, Google AdSense, and put your code in here. Okay? And that's going to actually create the, the banner for you. And the only thing you have to define here, to the, other than the name and the code, is the size of the banner. So this would be like 468. Whoops. 468, if I can get it, by 60. And you would put your code in here and save the changes. Um, when you do that, you could here add your websites. Uh, so if this is going on your website, you could just um, you know, call it Name Hero. What I like to do is add a zone. Um, and you have to actually add, add a website first, obviously. Okay, so we're going to add in just Name Hero.org, Name Hero. LLC, and um, we're just going to copy this, and then we'll just call this contact at namehero.com. So that would be a website that we're going to put this on, and then we could do a zone. Now the zone is going to be a top ad, a box ad, a bottom ad, wherever it appears on your website is what the zone is going to be, and um, that's what we would define here, and, and you can see here, it explains it to us. A banner, um, a floating dynamic HTML text ad, maybe it's in the email newsletter for your site, inline video or overlay video. <clears throat> so we create the zone there, that's very simple. 
Um, when you do that, you've got your, um, you can link the banners and um, you can actually see the probability of what banners are going to be shown. Um, the most important part of this page is the invocation code. Um, you click here and this is actually the code that you'll use to show the banner. Um, so you, uh, see you just copy and paste this into your website and you can change this um, to a different uh, method, um, whichever best fits the way your website is coded. Um, this especially comes in handy for those of you that are going to use your ad server on other sites that aren't on this, aren't on this server. So I like to use the JavaScript tag and actually the iframe tag works very well. Um, so let's say that you are purchasing media on another ad network or another website. Well, you could just give that website this code and it's going to show the banners that you have in your ad server. Um, so very, very simple there, um, and, but just a very important page because this is where the, the code um, kind of links everything together. Um, targeting channels, you can add these if you'd like, um, and it just allows you, to, once you get a lot of advertisers going, to be able to target your content and your pages um, a little bit better. Um, I typically don't mess a lot with targeting channels, um, but you can. It just de depends on what exactly you're trying to use the ad server for. Um, again, you've got the codes, which is in the direct selection. Um, user access, you can see, you can add other users into here to see um, these campaigns. Let's say someone bought an ad from you. And let's just say, for example, McDonald's buys an ad from you. Say that McDonald's advertising department, they want to be able to log into your ad server so they can see the performance of the campaign. This is where you would set that up. And you can give them access to just their campaign so they can see that. And you can click permissions and, you know, we can kind of, um, well, th this account here is going to be admin, so it's got everything. But um, you can define that um, as you go through it. Um, video ads, there is some um, players here you can download. If you're doing a, a video advertisement, you can see there's an open ad streamer um, for Flow Player. There's an open ad streamer for the JWFLL, FLV player. And there's also another one in there. So a couple options there for those of you serving video ads. Um, the final tab here is the account. And again, this is just, um, you know, we've already set this up and we installed it. But if we wanted to change the language or the change our, um, you know, name, and yeah, we could do that here. We can change our email address if that's needed and the password. We got some preferences like on defaults. This is basically, you know, if there's nothing for the ad server to show, what can it show? And you could put the default um, image and destination that says, hey, buy this spot, advertise here. Um, that's what I like to do when I just need a default banner. Um, and there's uh, some other things you can do, such as eCPM prioritization. Um, and it, gets a, it, it may sound a little complicated, but it's really not. And, and there's also help documentation through here. Um, there's some um, email warnings that you can set up for the agency and as well as the advertisers. Um, the administrator email warnings are already on and cannot be edited. Uh, time zone and your user interface preferences. You can also you know, add to the columns of your reporting and all that to make everything fit nice and neat for you. Got a user log and the targeting channel management. So that's pretty much all there is to it. And I know we kind of went through that fast, but I just wanted to show how quick and easy using the namehero.com managed cloud hosting platform, how easy it is to set up the Revive ad server and get it up and going. Because there are companies that are charging thousands of dollars a month to set this up on their servers. Well, we've built this because we've built our cloud with you in mind. We don't want you spending $6,000 a month. We don't want you spending all day doing this. We set this up in under 10 minutes and we have an ad server that's ready to go. So that's what, um, you know, this, that, that's what the name hero.com managed cloud is for. It's for keeping you um, productive and keeping your website um, you know, going as quickly as possible. If you have any questions, feel free to sound off in the comments or, or reach out to our support team. You can submit us a ticket and we'd be more than ha happy to help you um, configure and set up your ad server. Um, but that should do it for now. Um, thanks a bunch everyone for watching. We look forward to serving you and helping your business grow.